Hi, this is Johnny Shannon from Geospatial Insight and welcome to the third in a series of uh, videos showing how to get up and running with Hexagon's Map Enterprise browser dashboard interface. So if you haven't seen the last uh, couple of videos, you might want to go back and have a look at them. There'll be links in the description uh, below. Um, but what we're looking at here is a representation of the renewable energy sources and plants throughout the United Kingdom. And you see they're coloured up differently. We've got um, solar in yellow, uh, wind in green, hydro in blue, and so on and so on. Um, in the last video, I said I'd like to show you a way of uh, representing this data a little bit differently. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, in order to do so, we need to go to the tools and have a look at the settings of what we're actually looking at. And you can see here, we can add in different features um, from the uh, feature types available. Um, primary is what we're already looking at. We can do heat maps, but what we're going to look at here is cluster. And we want to use the same data set as we're using. Everything else can stay the same there. Ah, we want to have it as a donut, and I'll show you why we want it as a donut uh, a little bit later. Um, all that looks fine. We can have the unclustered color as our theme color, so it looks like it uh, goes to the theme. And then I think we want to change that to sum, the sum of the capacity, that's fine. And so we'll be looking at uh, how much uh, potentially uh, energy can be uh, created at each of these uh, sites. All of these look good. Oh, it's, obviously, you can, uh, it's fairly customizable. You can play with that to your heart's uh, desire, but uh, that's good for us now. So we click apply and let's get this out of the way and get this out of the way. You can see in the background that the clusters have popped up and let's make that a little bit clearer by turning off uh, that. There we go. Um, and so, yeah, now we've got clusters of uh, the sites throughout um, throughout the country. And if we look a little bit closer, we can see we've got an internal color. Here we've got uh, one which is uh, uh, pink, uh, 221. So that's uh, got uh, quite a lot of capacity. And then we've got greens, which are low capacity. And then round the outside, this is the donut bit, which is showing you what type of uh, renewable energy is being used. So down south, we've got a lot of yellow, which is solar. In the highlands of Scotland, we've got a little bit of blue, which is hydro, and then offshore, um, we've got wind in green. And so these clusters are a really nice way of summarizing uh, information on the browser. And of course, as you zoom in, then the clusters change and you get a little bit more detail until as you zoom in all the way, then uh, you start getting the individual sites um, when, you're, when you've uh, reached a threshold. Okay, um, that's just one of the uh, ways that we can visualize uh, um, the data a little bit differently. Um, the Map Enterprise uh, browser dashboard tool is really customizable. Um, we're doing lots of different things with it for the moment. Um, but uh, that will do for now. If there's anything that you would like me to show you, or if you've got any questions about the browser dashboard, then do drop a note in the comments below. Um, but if you don't, I hope this video has been useful anyway, and until the next time, um, that's all from me.